Hello everyone, greetings from Paytap's team. In this video, we are going to learn how we can enable the two-factor authentication inside Paytap's Merchant Dashboard and Reseller Dashboard for an enhanced payment security. So, let's get started. The first thing you should know is that Paytabs offers you a fully dedicated solution article that contain all the instructions you need to learn how you can activate the two-factor authentication. Just navigate to Paytabs support portal and look for the article with the name How to Activate Two-Factor Authentication or 2FA on the Merchant Dashboard and Reseller Dashboard. And once you navigate to this solution article, you will see a note in red here that says, due to the PCI DSS version 4.0 requirement, the two-factor authentication will be mandatory as of August 14, 2024. This means that as of this date, the two-factor authentication will be mandatory for any user to log in. So if you have not already enabled the two-factor authentication before this date, after this date, you are now required to enable it inside your merchant dashboard and using the two-factor authentication each time you log in. So let's walk through the steps we need to enable this method. The first thing you need is to download the Authenticator app. And the Authenticator app we mention here is Google Authenticator app or Microsoft Authenticator app. And you can see the reference or the URL to download both of these apps inside your mobile phone here in this solution article. And once you download it inside your mobile phone, you will see it, uh, the application will be replicable for you with this shape for Microsoft Authenticator or this shape for Google Authenticator. Now, once you have this application downloaded and ready, the next step is will be simply logging in to your merchant dashboard. As you can see here, after the date of 14th of August 2024, whenever you try to log in inside your Paytap's merchant dashboard and fill out your credential and sign in, you will see that the next screen would require you to scan the QR code with your Google or Microsoft Authenticator app. Now, here is a very important notice. You need to scan this QR code with only your Google Authenticator app or Microsoft Authenticator app. Scanning this QR code with any other application or with your normal mobile scanner or camera will reflect in not saving this QR code and this will make you not able to log in the next time to your Paytap's merchant dashboard. So as you can see here in the mobile screen shared that once you download the Authenticator app, which in this case I'm using the Microsoft Authentication app, the first thing you can see is the option to add an account. You can either add an account using the blue button named Add Account or from the plus button at the top right. Once I click on add an account, you will be redirected to choose the type of account. And here it's actually based on your choice, whether it's a personal account or a work account or other account. So I'm going to press on work or school account. And as you can see here, you will have the option to choose whether it's scan a QR code or sign in. And here, of course, I'm going to choose to scan a QR code so I can scan the QR code showed in this dashboard in front of you. So once I click on it, you will see here that I will be able to scan the QR code. And once it's scanned, you will see that the account will be added successfully to my Authenticator app. The next thing I need to do is simply click on this account and you will see a generated OTP or one-time password. Simply what I need to do here is to re-enter this one-time password inside the field here, which says enter OTP, but note that you need to enter this in the 30 seconds shown here. If you try to enter this OTP after this period, you will not be able to log in. So now I'm going to add this one, 882850, then click on confirm. And as you can see here, I was confirmed to log in to my PayTaps merchant dashboard. And 
The thing is, the next time you try to log in, you will not be seeing this QR code. And instead, let's test that together. You will be logging out from our account over here and trying to log in again. And the next time we try to sign in, you will immediately be required to fill out the OTB. So this means you will get back to your authenticator app and each time you want to log in, basically and very simply just click on your paytabs account like that and you will have the same OTB generated at this time. Simply enter this OTB like that and then click on submit and you will be easily logged in again now a very important notice here this authentication action happens due a synchronization between your account and your mobile app authenticator app so this means you need to synchronize the date and time between your mobile app and the device you are using to access the merchant dashboard once you do that you will be simply able to use this OTB each time to log in. Another very important note, don't you ever try to delete this app, Authenticator app, of course, or delete the account as this will result in you not able to generate the OTB because as you can see, you will not be receiving this OTB inside, let's say your SMS or inside a WhatsApp message. No, it will only be generated inside the Authenticator app, whether it's Microsoft Authenticator app or the Google Authenticator app. And as you can see in this video, we have gone through the steps inside Microsoft Authenticator app the same steps can be followed for the Google Authenticator app. It's the basic, very basic logic that you log in to your Paytabs Merchant Dashboard, you scan the QR using the Google Authenticator app, then add it to your Google Authenticator app and making sure not to delete the Authenticator app nor your account inside the Authenticator app so that each time you log into your Paytabs Merchant Dashboard, you can easily use the generated OTB from the Authenticator app. Now, this is subjected to each user, meaning each user account inside the Merchant Dashboard need to follow these steps using his own Authenticator app so that the OTB will be generated for his account and he will be able to log in through this OTB generated and his account details. Now we have learned how we can enable and configure and all the instruction needed for the two-factor authentication.